In this lesson, we're going to talk about choosing an IDE or a text editor for writing and running your programs. Now, you may have already chosen your IDE or text editor and established your workflow when writing and running Python programs. If not, let's talk about what sort of tool you'll use to do the exercises in this course. The more coders you get to know, the more tools you'll learn about. Every software developer has his or her own favorite set of tools. Writing code, however, boils down to choosing a text editor or an IDE. IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and it's really just a fancy word for a program that helps you write programs. An IDE is really just a text editor, but it's been integrated with a set of tools that makes it easy to write and run your programs. Your code is highlighted in a way that reflects the parts involved. And you may find that your functions are indexed so that you can easily jump from one function to another. Probably the most useful feature of an IDE is its debugger. This usually means a visual environment in which your program is being run with a cursor appearing on each line of code as it's being executed. You'll have the opportunity to stop the code at any point, check the value of variables, and even manipulate the value of variables before resuming execution. It can be an extremely useful tool to have. In this page from Stack Overflow, a helpful contributor has listed out many of the features that we look for in IDEs, and then a list of IDEs that support each feature. Some of the more popular IDEs for Python are PyCharm, Komodo, and Eclipse, which is actually written specifically for Java, but has a Python plugin. Most of the features on each IDE are pretty much the same really depends on what you're comfortable with and what you like. As far as a visual IDE goes, I prefer PyCharm. I like the way it looks and feels. I like the organization of its feature set. It gives you the feeling that the developers were very careful about coming up with the most convenient features. You can make changes to your code and run the code without having to save the file. Other IDEs like Komodo, for example, which I just sampled, requires that you hit save every time. You also have the choice of a text editor, if you'd prefer, over an IDE. Personally, at work, I use VI. That's a simple text editor for Unix, but it has a lot of built-in features, and it's possible to configure to your own taste. If you do want to keep it simple, there's a number of text editors that are available. On the Mac, Text Wrangler is a very good one, and on Windows, Notepad++. Both of these are IDE-like. That is, they do things like syntax highlighting, and they'll even execute your scripts for you. If you want to go even more bare bones, you can go with Notepad for Windows or TextEdit for Mac. Whichever IDE or text editor you choose, you can always choose another one later on. 